We'll be going over how to add users, enroll fingerprints, and add cards in Biostar 2. To add a user, first click on the Users page. Click Add User. Here, you can add basic information such as the user's name, email address, ID number, phone number, group, active status, and operator level. You can configure operator level definitions in Biostar settings under Account. You can provide a login and password for software administrators based on their operator level. You can set your user's start and expiry dates. Users will only be able to obtain authorization between these dates. Click Apply to save your settings. To enroll fingerprints, click on the Fingerprints button. Select the device that you want to enroll with. I'll be using a Biomini. Ensure that if you are using a Biomini, that you have installed its driver and that the USB device agent is running in the background. A link to download the Biomini driver can be found in the description. If you haven't installed the USB device agent, click on Settings and then USB Agent. You can also set the enrollment quality. Any enrollment score below the one selected will be rejected. The default enroll quality is 80, but if needed, based on the user's enrollment experience, you can lower the quality to 40 or 60. To add a fingerprint, click Add. Up to 10 fingerprints can be added per user. To enroll a finger, click Scan. Follow the instructions given. If you are not using a Biomini, you will not see an image. To ensure our quality enrollment, please watch our video on enrollment practices. If fingerprints are enrolled incorrectly, fingerprint authentication may become inconsistent and very difficult. When you have at least two fingers added, you can select duress fingers that will set off silent alarms when used to authenticate. When you are finished adding fingerprints, click Enroll. To add a card to a user, click on the Card button. Select the card type that you want to add. Since I have a HID Prox card, I'll select the Wigan option. Select the correct card format. Mine is a 26-bit standard. You have the options to read the card information from a device, to assign it from a previously captured card, or input the information manually. If you will be using a device to read the card information, make sure to select which device you are using. Only devices that can read the selected card type will appear. Ensure that the weakened settings of the device match that of your card, or the device won't be able to read it. Click Read Card, and place your card near the reader. Once the card has been read, click Enroll. Click Apply.